Great to be joined by Hilton Head Town Manager Steve Riley, uh, the, the calm after the storm, I guess we could call it. Yes. Uh, you were awfully busy a week ago uh, working with uh, everyone and in, in trying to piece together, uh, getting through Irma and then, uh, then post-Irma. What would you learn? This was a, a, certainly a different storm from Matthew. Uh, what, uh, what comes out of it as far as, as how the town was impacted? Clearly, this was a different storm. This was not the rain and the, and the winds. This was the storm surge, the, the push of water at, at high tide on top of an already exceedingly high tide. And yeah, there's some things we need to learn from this one about mapping out what are the low-lying areas, not only on Hilton Head, but throughout the county, because while we evacuated Hilton Head, Places in Moss Creek, All Joy Landing, throughout the county that are real low line and actually uh, seem to have been surprised that they got they got water. Uh, so for us, it's kind of a mapping exercise and a little more clarity on when we say low line areas. This is this is what we're talking about. Yeah. Um, we've also got to look at. Um, the issues of, of our outfalls. You know, it, at one point uh, we slogged out to look at the, uh, the check on the Wexford pump station and the Wexford pump station was operating at full capacity. Unfortunately, it's on a bit of a rise and the water was overflowing the banks on either side and flowing into the canal way faster than you could ever pump it out. So the system just simply got overwhelmed. Um, what can we learn from that? What can we take away from it? Not exactly sure at this point in time. Okay. Um, what did we learn from Matthew that helped? What we learned from Matthew that helped is first we'd begun working on a, a doing better at cleaning out our ditches mm -hmm. and we're not fully done there yet but, but we're, we're making progress and, and have learned about the importance of keeping those things well maintained and where they've silted in to get in there and clean those things out. The other thing we, we, we learned is um, the disaster, the, 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 well, the, the assessment of buildings. Okay. Um, you know, last time we went through the entire island and, and marked every house, we didn't do that this time. We, we knew kind of that we had pockets in, uh, of, of damage just anecdotally and from looking at a map you could you could kind of tell sure. where the road closures were where likely we were to have damage so we did a very fast assessment not of individual homes so much as kind of drive-throughs of these areas clearly need to be looked at in more detail and these areas we don't need to worry about at all so and you were a little, able to be a little more efficient in the we were far more efficient yeah. and so we could use people who weren't experts to just kind of go out and say you know i can see a water line i can see some people out <laughs> airing out the, the the garage or the car you know we, we need to go back in here and so that that initial assessment went ex exceedingly faster and it was just a better way to go about trying to analyze damage you don't really need to walk through every house to figure that out is there going to be, are we going to ask FEMA for any money from this one, uh, knowing how many uh, millions they still owe us from uh, the last one and then, and then with Harvey and Irma and Florida and everything else going on? Well, and you forget that there was actually... Um, Hermine. Her Hermine, and, and uh, the year before that, there was uh, Joaquim. Okay. Um, we actually got money from FEMA for Joaquim, which was a, wow. a distant memory now. but. What we are doing and the way the process works is um, each, county, the, the, each county has to document a certain amount of damage and then cumulatively the state has to, has to document some damage. We're jumping through all those hoops right now okay. and don't yet know whether we'll qualify for any FEMA reimbursement, but, but we're going to jump through the hoops. Most likely damage we have is beach erosion yeah. and uh, our contractor is back on site as of Friday, right. they're, 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 they're working hard to get caught back up um, and we're talking about how we might modify this agreement to see if we can go further north into some areas that, that got hit pretty good by, by Irma uh, that weren't part of the plan. And we have other areas um, throughout the island that got hit by, by Matthew, not severely enough to justify follow-up, yeah. but now we need to talk, start talking about some of that. Okay, how are our beaches? We okay? 
you know, we're going to be fine. There's a couple of isolated areas where we've lost some dunes or some homes that are exposed down in the South Beach area, and we need to get some sand in front of those. There's some additional homes. We need to get releases from the homeowners. We need to clean up some debris, but we're hoping we can get in there and uh, give them some protection. All right. A lot of work still to do, and uh, yes. we're not through storm season yet, unfortunately. Ah, ah, no. All right. Uh, we'll, you know, we'll talk again soon, I hope, and uh, we will... Uh, we will not be talking uh, so much about this. Maybe we'll talk about how to fix Nebraska's football team. Oh, please. <laughs> Steve Ruddy, <laughs> thanks so much for the time. Appreciate it.